What's up, everybody? I'm gonna cue in some drums right there. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're talking about Bloom Studios today. They have been spitting out like Eminem, whatever. Um, amazing content. We all were able to check out um, Boom Studios. Well, hopefully everybody. I'm, I'm gonna speak for everybody. Hey, I'm busy making a video. All right, thank you. Um, Boom Studios E, all right? So I'm going to compare that to Aftershocks We Live. Um, I know that as of right now, we only have two books compared to five, so I'm only going to pretend I'm going to talk like a tiny bit about the ending of We Live, so full spoilers ahead if you have not been able to catch that. I know it's been a very, very hot book, um, but it did come out some time ago, so you should have some time to have um, caught it by now. So um, uh, let's go ahead and do the covers. So we have Booms, Eve, number one. I believe this is just cover A. I've been searching on eBay for a couple different covers just because I really, really believe that this is going to be a huge hit. I like the way it has started. It presents a very catchy story. Um, you know, the world has basically gone into peril. There's some type of virus or infection, something very similar to the movie I Am Legend, but um, we, we have only seen just the tip, 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 tip of the iceberg as far as book number two. Um, and I mean, that cover alone is just outstanding. I went with cover B on this one. Um, cover A on cover two was uh, was really good, but the artwork on this one was just really, really breathtaking. And I really, really respected it. And uh, so I had, I had to snag it. So then switching over to number one of Aftershocks, We Live. I think I said last night on my live stream that this was from Boom Studios. So I definitely mis misspoke. Aftershock did a fantastic job with the brothers on this one and um, man I would love to talk with them and just and just pick their brain one day and see which way they're going to go with um, I'm considering season two of what they're doing um, this this was truly a perfect story one two three four and five no complaints no issues nothing of the sort I, I really just absolutely loved loved and enjoyed this story as a comic book um, fan reader hopefully one day writer we will see, you know, what what they're able to do with the, the, their second installment. Um, so book one really presents kind of the same type of story. Um, you know, the world has kind of ended. The only difference really here is that um, the little boy gets this bracelet on his wrist um, that, you know, hey, you're going to be able to be saved. It's just you got to go through some traveling first. So very similar to Eve, she wakes up in this time um, I don't want to say my version of it, but just this time chamber or this, uh, uh, come on, cryo chamber, and, you know, she has a mission, and she's with this teddy bear, so very similar to, um, gosh, I can never remember names, I'm horrible at this, but very similar to his sister, um, the guardian, so to speak, is the teddy bear, so there are some really good similarities within the different stories. Um, and I, I really just loved it. The artwork, I can't really give one to the other. Um, it's, it's really kind of tricky. What do you think? I'm going to work on that. It's going to, we're going to get. I think both stories are good. Yeah. Um. Let's see. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think below in the comments as far as like what story as far as artwork that y'all would maybe prefer. They're both extremely similar. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The only really difference, I guess. Well, no, they both don't have their parents. Um, Eve's dad is in outer space. Um, the the time the time uh, line time difference we live is significantly more in the future um let's see let's see i don't i don't remember what year it is in eve uh let's see let's see hmm. i do like that eve's story is 
a little bit more challenging in my opinion and the reason why i'm going to go with that is because she she does have this bear and the bear is some form of artificial intelligence so um, we did get to see it have some really good strength and powers in book number two um, and it did protect her but very similar to the people in we live now that does happen in book kind of three and four a little bit more so I, I don't want to talk about that yet but um i don't know the the storyline in both they they share a lot of similarities um and i'm i'm really excited like i said last night um when i was on my live stream <clears throat> i hope we live i mean um i hope eve doesn't go too too long i mean 10 books max so if they want to take this even farther i completely respect that and i like that but I don't want it to. I don't want them to try and do too much when their concept, <clears throat> their concept is just solid already. It's it's already a really great concept. What, what was? What, uh, I think you're right, Justin. I I think you're doing a really great job. Um. Uh, so you know, I don't know. I, I I love both stories. I really really do. You know, there's there's danger in both. Let's see. Uh, cover two definitely has cover two of We Live beaten. Um, even though, if you're a fan of We Live, you know that this, I don't know if it's an alien gorilla or just a gorilla that has evolved into an alien looking gorilla, but, hmm, I did forget about this part. They, so when, gosh, what's his name? The old man here that is helping everybody um, <clears throat> travel to the spaceships. When he is when he is killed, I definitely did not see that coming, like, at all. N nothing, not even a little bit. Um, I definitely thought that he was going to be an important character within the show, and, I mean, uh, within the show, I always do that. But, I mean, they're just walking through this mosh, and he just gets mauled by this tiger thing. And, um, yeah, there's his head getting ripped off right there. So, um, book two definitely has a little bit more suspense, definitely a lot more gore. So, I hopefully, I'm, I'm a big fan of that as far as comics and just not holding anything back. So, I hopefully will see Eve go into that a little bit more. Um, like I said, the story is just presenting itself, and it, it is, um, yeah, I think, I think that's just a, I'm going to go with an alien. Because if gorillas evolve like that, that's going to be intense. Um, Showing up, um, yeah. So I mean, I don't, I don't know. Overall, I, I just think that We Live has a, a lot of great, um, promising, uh, you know, like emergent characters, uh, emerging characteristics. I, I just, I really love it. I think, I think that we have a, um, a lot to look forward to. And and I mean, I, I want to believe in a story, so I, I think it's fun to discuss and fun to think about. Um, overall, let me know what you guys think. I, you know, I was just thinking about making this video last night. And, um, you know, I was able to sit down and read Eve, and I was like, man, these, these stories share some um, similarities, and I wanted to kind of compare and contrast these guys. So, uh, this was the fall, uh, the ending to number two, um, which was just a beautiful, beautiful little story, and I, I really love how they connect these, these two guys together. Because um, everybody kind of has, like, you know, their guardian angel in, in each one of these stories. So, it's going to be fun to see what happens overall. Um... I was able to pick up some really good comic books yesterday. Let me go over what I picked up. Now I'm gonna send you guys on y'all's way. Um, Mr. Mr. Hand Guy, would would you like to announce the the, the comic books? Why, well, yes, I would. Uh, okay. All right. I didn't expect you to say yes. Okay. Batman Detective Three. Great job, Hendo. Right, we got number two, my pick of the week. I thought that was my. No, it's my pick of the week. Oh man, this is this is gonna get intense with both of us sharing the limelight like this. You don't know what you're talking about. Not very much. 
Joker, number five? Four. Number four. This cover is intense. Look at that. That realism. What does he have? Like a spider? No, wait. it's not pliers. I don't know what it is. And whatever this title is. I'm not going to try. Ballistic. Ballet. <laughs> this one's insane, too. Uh, Boom Studios. This one's going to be a really, really good story. Um, it's definitely got that hook. Um, I mean, it, it starts off very similar to... What am I thinking about? I don't know what it starts off to. It's just a really good story. Um, God, this cat's crazy. Got the zoomies. Huh? All these... Uh, I they look like teenagers, at, at least like two of them look a little bit older than, than teenagers. Um, this story is great. It, it, it's a little bit slow in the very beginning and then you see um, this young lady with her with her eyes covered. So you're just like, okay, like, so we got a protagonist. What's going on here? What's going on? And then she's, um, you know, she's got the gun behind her and she, she obviously has been being hunted and then fast forwarding towards more of the ending of the book, um, we see what is able to be done with those eyes that are covered. Keep them covered. I think that she's standing up for herself. Yeah, I can I can see what you mean by that. But she killed a lot of people. But they were kind of sick her. Here. Um, yeah, no, so some really great covers, guys. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you're reading. And then I got this bad boy. I'm excited to flip through this in just a little bit. Tankers number one. Um, that is just a beautiful cover. If I love this storyline a lot, I'm going to slab this book. Um, maybe try and find a new one. Because that's a, a little fox corner that I can't press out. Yeah. So some great, 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 great books this week, guys. What are you looking forward to next week? Thank you for stopping by. And as always, thank you for tuning in. Just in comics. Peace.